You want to stick around for this video because this is going to be a good one. Today's video is sponsored by Go Markets. Go Markets is a multi award winning broker who is regulated by the Cyprus Security and Exchange Commission. I have personally been using Go Markets for over five years now, and one of the reasons I chose them was because their customer service is second to none. Low spreads, fast withdrawals, and thousands of tradable products makes Go Markets the favourable choice for the BD members. Go Markets is the official online trading sponsor of Chelsea Football Club. If you are looking to trade with a worldwide trusted and regulated broker, then sign up using our link below and start trading today with low spreads. Thank you and enjoy today's video. BD members, I need your help with this one. If you're not a BD member, then unfortunately this video is kind of pointless. A month or so ago, a BD member reached out to me and he says, Jamie, I've got a mathematical trade that always guarantees wins. So he takes a trade on a certain currency pair on a certain day at a certain time and long term, it mathematically always wins. And he makes a lot of money trading it. He buys a lot of supercars. And I was going to make a YouTube video on it. However, all the BD members told me not to make the video, told me not to tell the world about it, which was like, OK, fair enough. If that's what you want me to do, I won't tell a soul. It's just between me and the BD members only. But it got me thinking because I used to trade something like this similar in the past. And trades like this do exist where at a certain time, on a certain day, a currency pair will go into a certain direction. And if you take a trade, you will make money consistently over a long period of time. You will make money. They're kind of guaranteed mathematical trades that regardless of what happens with the world, it will always move in that direction. And I used to trade something like that called arbitrage trading, where basically if you ever trade binary, you might do this and it will it will work. I used to have a computer with an MT4 on on the left here and on the right I used to have a laptop with a different MT4 platform and I noticed when let's say USD went up on this platform on my uh, laptop then five seconds later USD would go up on my computer and that small discrepancy I used to make a lot of money because I knew when that was going to go up, this would go up five seconds later. It was like a window into the future. Like I was, it, it was like I cracked the matrix and I made a hell of a lot of money from it until I got blacklisted from my broker, which is actually funny because I then set up the buy and destroyer and like a year or two years later, that broker actually reached out to me and said, Jamie, we want to build a partnership with you. And I thought, well, that's ironic because two years ago, I'm actually blacklisted from your platform. So it's funny, now the uh, now you've come out of the woodwork, when you need me, you're my best friend, right? But when I needed you to make some money, oh, where was I? You'd blacklisted me. Funny story, eh? But that's the way the world exists, all right? Nobody's there when you need them, but when they need you, you're, the, yeah, you're their best friend. Anyway, I'm going to show you a nice little winning trade now and I want you lot, the BD members, to help me simulate it and backtest it because I believe this is going to work perfect. So let's jump straight into the charts. I didn't really know what to call this strategy, so I've just called it the London Open Trade. Now, I don't mind sharing this with the world because not all of the world has the binary joy, so we can kind of slip under the radar and everything's going to work just fine. So basically, very simple trade. What we are trading is the Mogwai strategy on Euro USD, And we are taking the first trade between 8 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. OK, at 8 a.m. London, op uh, London opens. OK, the market's open at 8 a.m. Right. And we're going to take the first Mogwai signal that appears after 8 a.m. between 8 a.m. and 8.30. If we don't get a Mogwai signal within the first 30 minutes, then invalid. We're not taking it any other trade. That is basically it. 8 a.m. Uh, Mogwai strategy, USD. We take the first trade after 8 a.m. 
We wait 30 minutes. If no signal appears, then that is it, invalid. We wait on, we wait until the next day. Now I've simulated this. It works very, very well, but it's just basically fine tuning stop losses and take profits. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate it now, show you how it works. And I want you lot, the BD members, to report back to me in the Telegram group and Facebook group how you get on with it. Because a lot of you lot, and this is what I love, is it's better to have the whole community working on this together because more minds and more heads together means better results. A lot of BD members can create EAs from this. They can fine tune it. They can simulate it for hours. And yeah, let's jump on the charts and I'll show you this strategy now. Okay, to show you that I'm not actually cheating when doing this, I'm going to load up my simulator in front of you now. Um, to be honest with you, it makes no difference because we're just taking a trade at a certain time on a certain currency pair. Um, yeah, every single day. So it kind of makes no difference what day I simulate or what week I simulate. It's, you know, it's just going to work, right? Um, so let me go there. Euro USD, one minute time frame. I didn't mention it. It is the one minute time frame. I'm going to load up the Mogwai strategy here. And we're going to take the first Mogwai strategy, uh, first Mogwai signal after 8 a.m. Now, th this is on MT4, which is two hours ahead. So we actually have to take the trade at 10 a.m. OK, 10 a.m. is actually 8 a.m. in real time. I know it's confusing. I don't know why MT4 does that. It's always two hours ahead. But basically, we're looking for 10 a.m. on here and then we're going to take the trade. Now, I already know what the results are because I've literally got hundreds of simulations doing this so I already know okay but the reason for this video is I want to show you lot the BD members how to test it how to simulate it and hopefully let me just uh, I want to turn all of my settings off because it's going to drive me insane okay sorry about that I had to turn all my notifications off because it's going to absolutely annoy me it's going to constantly ping at me um right okay so look at the time here we're looking for 10 a.m okay 10 a.m so we're currently at like four in the morning. Da, da, da. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Come on. 10 a.m. So seven, eight, nine. Here we go here. OK, here we go here. So the first trade at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. First trade Mogwai signal. Now we're going to go for, oh, we need to be entering here, literally here at the Mogwai signal. We're going to go for a 10 pip stop loss and 10 pip take profit. And this is the reason for this simulation is I want to show you what to do. OK, because sometimes we're going to have to fine tune these settings. Right. And this is the reason why I want to make this video, because I know more, we're going to get more done if there's more people simulating it. So there you go. There first trade one. We probably could have gone for one to two, one to three with this trade. But again, we, we have to simulate it. If you're going to go for one to two, or one to three, you've got to simulate it across hundreds of pairs. Right. I mean, across hundreds of trades. OK, you can't just go one for three, then one to one, one to three, one to four. You know, this is a trade where we've got to take a trade at a certain time at a certain currency pair and we've got to go for a certain stop loss and take profit. Just literally at 8 a.m. we do this and only this. OK, there's no point going, well, you've got to manage it. You've got to do this. You've got to do that because then it just gets confusing. OK, it's just it should just simply be. At 8 a.m. we do this and and yeah, hopefully it works. So first trade was a winner. OK. I'm just watching the time again. We're going to go to the next day now. So I might, be, I'll speed it up just a little bit. Um, here we go here. So we're going into the next day, which is going to be, here we go here. We're slowing down. Right, seven, eight, nine, done. Here we go here. Now this trade here could be a loss, but it actually does win. It is confusing. Here we, here we go here, right? Here we go here. So 10, this is the trade here, right? 10 a.m., is this trade here. Now, this trade actually went to around five pips. So you would have got five pips out of this trade. But for the purpose of this, we'll say it's a loss. OK, but th this is why I said about it needs fine tuning. OK, because you could no. OK, no, no, we didn't get it. So that was the only setup, that one there. OK, so again, we'll go to the next day now. We'll go to the next day. Um, so again, watch the time here, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, stop. Here we go here. So at 10 a.m., which is, is that 10 a.m.? 
Where's it? Here we go here. Right, okay. We have a Mogwai signal just there. So there's my Mogwai signal, okay. Now, this trade does go five pips. So give an example here. Ten pip stop loss, five pip take profit. I know it's not ideal, but I just want to show you, right, that maybe it's a five pip trade. Maybe it's a five pip strategy. I don't know. Maybe it is a one to two, one to three. I don't know, okay? This is why I said it's all about fine tuning it, okay? Because if you look here, right, we did have a bit of drawdown and then eventually price kind of dropped from this level. Let's, uh, let's do the next trade, okay? The next trade. So... Again, here we go here, here we go here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go here. Um, here we go here, 9.50, 10 o'clock. Oh, hang on here, it's not trade. Here we go here, here we go there. That is the trade at 10 a.m. 10 a.m., obviously that's 8 a.m. London Open. And this one is a 10 pip stop loss, 10 pip take profit. So you obviously would have got, as well, you would have got five pips out of this trade as well. Oh, that's well annoying. Literally, look, it kissed my take profit. That's annoying. That's annoying. Literally, look, it kissed my take profit. I'm going to take that as 10 pips. Okay. Let's actually, in fact, let me take it exactly where that Mogwai error appeared. That might be a bit better. Here we go here. Right. So Mogwai signal, 10 pips. See if that trade wins. Oh, look, literally, look at that. It touched it. Well, I will close that off 10 pips. Done. There we go. Let's just say that's 10 pips, okay? Um, obviously, that would have gone five pips easily, okay? So, may I've just, I'm, I'm, if you notice, I'm keeping notes of all of it because I want to see how well it performs. Just keep a note, we've made 2.4% already. Obviously, we did get that losing trade where the trade only went five pips. You know, maybe it works for five pips, maybe not, okay? This is why more people simulating this, the better. Okay, so next trade. Okay, you ready? Four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go here. Right, okay, so we're getting 10 a.m. There we go there. This is the next trade, 10.09 a.m. there. So again, we're going to take a trade. We'll go for a 10 pip stop loss, 10 pip take profit, okay? Does the trade win? Yes, beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Look at that, target the bottom of the zone. Beautiful. Again, that trade went five pips. Maybe call it the five pips London Open. Who knows? Right. Okay. Next trade. Next trade. Okay. Um, next trade. I won't d keep you bored with doing this all day because literally I've simulated this all weekend. I've literally simulated this over like 150 trades. And yeah, the results are very... In fact, you can't see this. Look, every single trade here is, uh, is jotted down here. But again... Most of this is going for 10 pips for 10 pips. You know, I haven't simulated it with one to two, one to three, or even just five pips, okay? Or even managing the trade. It might work for you. Okay, next day. Here we go, next day. Um, here we go here, 9.49. So the next Mogwai signal, London opens here. There is the Mogwai signal, okay? This is going to trick you. We've got a Mogwai signal here. However... We are not taking this one because that is not London Open. That is two minutes before London Open, okay? So if you've got itchy fingers, you'd, well, I wouldn't take the trade. Now London opens, and now we take the next Mogwai signal, which is, I think, there. Okay, so on this one, we are going for a 10-pip uh, stop loss. Again... Keep note of what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm waiting for price to close above the TCA line. And sometimes I'm waiting for a Mogwai arrow. Okay, so again, this is why I need you lot to help me. Do we take the trades at the Mogwai arrow or do we wait for the TCA line? Okay, in my simulation here, I was, I basically mixed it up. I can't read, th this is not a true result of waiting entering at a mogway arrow or tca line because when i did this simulation on 150 trades i kind of mixed it up and then i kind of was like i don't know which which i did um but anyway okay again watch this trade go to 10 pips beautiful in and out bang again you probably would have got 10 pip, uh, five pips out of this trade in fact you probably would have got a one to two yeah look 32 pips so if you had a 10 pip stop loss 30 pip take profit, you would have got a one to three out of that trade. So, you know, we'll do one more trade because this video has been going on for like 12 minutes now. We'll do one more trade. 
Um, so where is, here we go, here we go into the next day and five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go here, here we go here. Okay, here we go here, 10, 10, 07. Okay, so where's the Mogwai signal? Here we go here, here's, ooh. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. Does this trade win? Does this trade win? Beautiful, beautiful. I was just curious because we had this Mogwai signal here. No, that 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 Mogwai signal appeared at 9.40. This one appeared at 10.12. Uh, 10, because remember, our cutoff period is 10.30, which is 8.30, between 8 a.m. and 10.30 p.m. Uh, AM. So that's that's what I want you lot to do, BD members. We made a nice little 5.5% gain. Please simulate it. Let me know how you get on. It's worked for me across 150 uh, trades, but again, it needs fine tuning. What's the right, what's the perfect stop loss and take profit to go for? Where's the best place to enter? Mogwai arrow or close above the TCA line? Um, keep me updated. I hope you have an awesome time simulation, simulating this. Let me know how you get on. And yeah, thank you for watching.